Well, I have to say that I'm very pleased about the way in which this second round runoff vote is proceeding because, in fact, the political choice that the French people will have to make is clear. Mr. Macron is the candidate of uberization, wild globalization, insecurity, social brutality, the war of all against all, uh, the economic ransacking of our large corporations, uh, major interests uh, sweeping low on our interests. All this run by Mr. Hollande, who's um, in the driving seat. Mr. Kaznov said, I think, yesterday, uh, vote in favour for Mr. Macron. Do that with the sense of pride of what we've accomplished and the desire of that to continue. So I'm the candidate of the people. I'm the candidate of France as we love it, of its culture, its civilization, its unity. I am the candidate of the nation that protects, that protects our jobs, that protects the security of our fellow citizens, our borders, protects us against unfair international competition and the rise of Islamic fundamentalism. And of course, the French people have been able to say the real Macron in this um, second round. The uh, benevolence has uh, been replaced by spite. The marketing strategy has been taken over by the Socialist Party, and the rye smile is uh, being replaced by a grin after the rallies and the rounding of elites. Mr. Macron has dropped the mask. I think it's useful. We've seen the choices that you've made in this second round, choices that are cynical choices, the use of campaign arguments that are shameful and that reveal perhaps the coldness of the business banker that you've never stopped being, perhaps. So I think that this period an actual fact of clarification was profoundly useful to the French people to decide.